Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is David Campbell from the Campbell Blog, coming to you from the Las Vegas morning edition. How's everybody doing? I've had a couple of people come visit me here already from Vegas. Not people that I knew other than Smooth Lee 64 and a guy named William. I forgot to ask him his last name, but he says he's been watching us since we started. So I was happy to see him. Offered to give some help, help me go to the Social Security office and everything. So that, you know, at least I haven't had any of my old friends come visit me yet, but new friends have come. And a couple have asked if it was all right if they came visit. And yes, it's okay if you come visit. In fact, I'd enjoy having some company. All right, and today I'm gonna to talk about some of the results of the, of the tests that they have done. You know, I had an MRI a couple of days ago and a CT scan, but they had to do the MRI again because they, they said that one part of it looked like a brain tumor. They're not sure if it was a brain tumor or not. They thought it was, I thought it was a, uh, whatever it's called, a stroke. But they said, just because you think it's a stroke doesn't mean it's a stroke because a brain tumor can look the same. It just, you know, and you might think it's the same because they it'll stop suddenly. You know, with a brain tumor, it grows and grows and grows, and then it grows to it starts pressing on veins or, or blocking uh, blood. So you might think you had a stroke and that it was sudden, but no, it's, it's um, a brain tumor. So they don't, they took the other MRI and they did a, they put some dye in me or something so it comes out clear. And it's looking like to them like it's a stroke. But they don't want to say for 100% that it's a stroke for four more months till, so they can compare two, the two different uh, MRI things and see if, if the one if it's changed to bigger then it was it's a tumor if there's if it if it's clear it was a stroke so i'm still at the point of hoping it was a stroke so at right at least right now their diagnosis that it, if they had to make a guess they would say it's a stroke but you know how they are in the hospital sometimes they don't want to guess they want to know and it's going to take four months of it growing for them to know if it's a tumor or not they also did a, a test on my heart. As you can see, they still got wires hooked up all to me everywhere. And uh, the, th the heart test is about the same. They're thinking the heart is what's making my feet swell up. Whereas one doctor in, the, where did that, one doctor in Kuala Lumpur told me, it was from smoking. Well, I've gone six, I'm, now I'm on day six, and my feet are still swollen, so I'm thinking it's probably the heart. So I don't know. I tried to shave a little bit, but I shaved with, I usually shave with a straight razor. I shaved with a, uh, this thing, and it's not that good. As you can see, I got a lot of, still got a lot of, white all over the place it's so I'd like to be able to go to a barber shop and, and straighten all this stuff out and get all this hair off so that's one of the things I got to do when I get out of the hospital now the other thing is they must be feeding vampires in this place they've taken so much blood from me in the past five days it's it, it's crazy every day they take three or four test tubes of blood to see what's wrong with me, what's going on. And, but also what they do is they check, they, they give you medicine, then they check it to see how it's done. I guess that's how it's doing. If it's making you, uh, if it's doing what it's supposed to do or it's not, maybe they got to use something stronger. You know, they've been giving me, they gave me yesterday a sleeping pill and it didn't work. I woke up at, I woke up after two hours of sleeping thinking it was eight o'clock in the morning and it was eight o'clock at night because I don't sleep no more than two hours. At most, I sleep two hours. I, 
every once in a while I'll get in a good night, but I haven't had a good night in a while. But let me tell you something. You know, everybody knows I believe in aliens and alternate universes and all kinds of craziness. But I'm going to tell you something. I think all your prayers have been working. So thank you very much. So continue to pray for me and pray that I don't have a brain tumor. So continue the brain, continue the uh, praying. It seems to be working. So thank you. Thank you very much. And the people who want to come visit, thank you too. But stop off at Taco Bell and bring a couple of tacos if you come. Love tacos. They don't have them here. You know, I'm really in the Philippines either. Not correctly made. But they do here in Las Vegas. All right. And so I, I don't know what else I want to talk about. But as you can see, all the people who said, oh, you're never going to get into the hospital. You have to make an appointment. It's going to take you three, or six, three to six months, maybe a year. You see, you're wrong. And for everybody who tells me I should get VA benefits, you can't come to the VA hospital if you're not on VA benefits. So I've already done that. A lot of guys, you guys give me information like you think I'm a total idiot. I'm not. I know what I'm doing. But thanks for the information anyway. And, and somebody told me about the two different kind of caregivers. And, and because of that, I've already signed up for aid and attendance. And I think that one is going to go through. Which will make my wife very happy because it'll be for her. And uh, when, I get, when they get done doing all these tests, and they're doing a lot of tests, they're being very thorough. Um, I'm going to be going to a rehab center. So I, I'm thinking I'll be all done with everything in two weeks because that's all I get in the rehab center is two weeks. So in two weeks, and there's a couple of things here that I'd really like to take back to me. You know, they asked me earlier if I had an address in Las Vegas I could have the stuff sent to. And I do, but, you know, when you start thinking about how much is a, a heavy electric wheelchair going to cost to ship to the Philippines, uh, a, uh, a thing for my arm, so my arm will stay straight and my fingers will be out like that. There's about four things they want to give me. I got a, a brand new wheelchair that is going to make life a million times easier because the sides come off so I don't have to stand up to get in or out. I can scoot right onto it. So that's going to save Rose's back and all the pain that she has from helping me. As you all know, the main reason I came here is Rose. I got to make her life a lot easier and get her paid for all the work she's doing. So I'm here out of love. I'm here out of loving my wife. I love my wife more than anything in the world. The only thing I might love as much or more than my wife is Sophie. Sophie is such a sweet little kid. Nobody watches the videos whenever I put up with Sophie. I'm getting, she has a video that she did uh, about a year old ago that I think will do well. She's singing Baha'i Kubo. And she's singing it nice. So I, I hope when I put that out that you guys will get it watched. And I want to thank everybody. For some reason lately we, our videos have been hitting 10,000. We have one that's hit 40,000. Those are Campbell Channel kind of numbers. We haven't had anything like that in over a year. So all you people who are watching these videos of me sitting in a hospital or me sitting in an airport, please don't forget to subscribe and put a like on it. That will really help us a lot. We don't need your money. We don't need nothing. We need you to watch the commercials and subscribe. That will help us a lot. So if you could do that, please Please do. And, you know, people have been telling me to ignore the, the creepy guys that say creepy things to my wife. I will ignore them. I'll just block them. And, you know, it's funny. What people don't know is when, when you have, when you watch YouTube, they make you sign up. 
So if you sign up, all the, all a person has to do is go into your back page and they're about, and that's where your uh, email is. So once somebody's got your email, they can look up your Facebook. So if you don't want your wife or girlfriend or friends and family or employees or employers to know what a creep you are, don't say crazy stuff to my wife because I will post it on your Facebook and then you can explain to all the people that around you why you're such a creep or is that really the way you are? So make these stupid statements on your own risk. And if that isn't enough, you'll also get blocked. And I, I, I will remove your comment and block you. So if you enjoy screwing with me or just looking at our videos, you won't be able to do it no more. Because I will unsubscribe you. Bye-bye. Hmm. I'm going to stop talking for about two seconds so they have a perfect place to put in the commercials. And let me talk about something else. A lot of people don't believe in therapy. I've never thought about therapy. But I went... The, a psychiatrist came in here because they had to talk to me about... Because I want to get gentle. Thanks. Hold on one second. Hello. And you're what? How are you? All right. My name is Dr. Sadiq. Do you remember me from yesterday? Oh, yeah. You look different today. You look really? Like you huh? cut, did you cut your hair? No. Nah. <laughs> I just lined it up a little bit. All right, yeah, you look a little different today. Uh, how you feeling? Not good because the, the the sleeping pill didn't work. I woke up after two hours. Okay, okay. And then I went back to sleep, and I woke up three hours later. Got it. Got That's it, got exactly it. the same of what was happening what was before. What's happening at home? Got it. Got it. Okay. No, what's happening before I took the the, the, the sleeping pill? Right. I mean, we may have to increase the dose. That could be a possibility. Well, she told me too that the Wellbutrin uh -huh. will work just as good as, as the as the other one, as the Chantex. But I took Wellbutrin and it didn't do anything. Well, the Wellbutrin is for different reasons, also. Right. It's also, I mean, you can use Wellbutrin for a smoking system.